Welcome back to the Shabby Chic Vintage Chicks. Today we're working with this cute Dollar Tree tree. It's uh, a little too bright and shiny for my liking. I'm more rustic and farmhouse. And so what I'm going to do is strip all this away. Now I thought I was going to need scissors to cut it off, but I've realized they just kind of tuck an end in there and you can easily unwind this. Now, if you want, you could always save that tinsel for something else. So just set it aside and let's carry on. So the star in the top is just snapped in there. You just simply pull it out. You can save that for another project as well. And then we're just going to remove the tag. Probably would have been quicker just to cut it off. <laughs> but there we go. Okay, so to start off with, we are going to take this cool frame and... I tell you, just the frame alone has got to be worth the buck fifty that I pay here in Canada at the Dollar Tree. It is going to be so awesome. So to start off with, we're going to stick a little dab of glue inside the bottom of the frame. And I'm going to take some twine and I'm just going to hold it there for a second and let that set. Okay. So the next part is I want to cover up the very bottom edge of the frame. So this one is where it gets a little sticky, okay? You take your bead of hot glue, and I'm using the Sherbonder glue gun. I love this thing because there's no cords attached. And the fact that it stays hot, even though I don't put it back in the stand each time, really helps me. I don't have to fiddle around with that when I'm working on a project and I want to get it done quickly. If you don't have a Sherbond or glue gun, I will put the link in the description. You'll want to get your hands on one of these. So simply just putting a bead of glue all around that bottom edge. And I'm just going to line up my twine. Just like so. It's a little warm. You might want those silicone fingertips. And then we're going to simply just wind it around. Now you will have to pinch it into place as you go just to keep the twine close together. These plastic frames kind of have little nubbies that stick out that kind of held the, um, the tinsel in place. But unfortunately, they kind of also separate the twine. So pinching it together is really gonna help. So you're just gonna continue going around and around, making sure you pinch it into place there. So what I'm doing is I'm putting a little dollop just along the edge of that last twine and also on the frame because I want to hold this all together. Oh, we had a little visitor. That was the cat. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right. So let's just carry on doing this up the base of the tree. Now, as you can see here, I am picking up the pace of the video. I've sped it up to about two or three times fast just because it is that easy of a project. Once you get those first two rows done, you don't have to use as much glue. You're just winding it up and going tighter and tighter as the base narrows down at the base of the tree there. Now, for the next part, you're going to want to follow the edge of the bottom of the tree. Again, we're hiding that green frame. So we're going to run a steady bead and just keep your twine on that bottom of the edge, not on the side, but on the bottom. There we go. And now as we're making our way around, now we're going on to the side of that frame. You can see how quick and easy this is going to be. It is going to be so adorable. Just keep your twine out of the way. Give yourself enough, enough string there that you have room to, to keep wrapping it. And I'm just putting dots every once in a while just to hold it in place. And again, you do the same thing as you go each, up each level as the same as you did on that bottom level. Now, here we're taking a closer look. We're going along that edge. And I'm just kind of pushing that piece of twine underneath just slightly as I go. 
And then again, we'll go around the top of that bottom piece of the frame there. Just pinching it into place. So how many of you love farmhouse decor? That is my jam. I like everything rustic and primitive. Oh, I just love it to look shabby. So this is going to be a perfect addition for my Christmas decor. Now that we're at the top of the tree, you're going to need to pinch this down into place, really holding it to the other layers. I put a good dollop of glue at the top. And when I cut my twine, I'm just going to kind of curl it around and press it into place. Just like so. And now we're down to the finishing touches. I've got these rustic stars that we buy from Amazon. And I'm just putting a dollop of glue in the center of each one. And I'm going to simply add it to the very top and pinch it into place. Now, how's that for an easy project? Pure farmhouse rustic look. And it really cost us next to nothing. The twine I bought years ago at the dollar store. And it has lasted me forever. The stars, okay, yes, I bought them from Amazon. But really, this whole project cost a couple bucks and it looks absolutely fabulous. Now, let's add just a finishing touch. 